Hi guys, today I'm going to be reading you What is Given from the Heart by Patricia C. McKissack and April Harrison. This book was donated by Lydia Arterberry and her family. And this is an awesome uh, book that really shows the power of kindness and how giving something to somebody can mean so much, even if that something is something small. Okay? I thought this would be a great book to read today because Easter is coming up on Sunday, which I know a lot of you guys celebrate Easter. Um, and that is a holiday uh, in the Christian faith where we celebrate um, a lot of things, but mainly we celebrate uh, by being together and um, telling each other how much we love each other. And um, this book really does a great job of showing how you can give from the heart to your family or your friends. Right? What is Given from the Heart by Patricia C. McKissa. It was a rough few months for Mama and me. We were already poor, but we got poorer last April when Daddy went to sleep on the front porch and never woke up. Mama cried and cried because Daddy didn't have a suit to be buried in. Come June, we lost the farm and moved to a rundown shotgun house in the bottoms. On Friday the 13th, it rained frogs, everything flooded, and Smitty, my dog, disappeared. Misery loves company, Mama said, shaking her head as she swept water out the back door. I hugged her up close, the way I always did when she was sad or I was scared. As long as we have our health and strength, we are blessed, James Otis. Mama said, trying to sound brave, but things didn't get any better. You can see the shotgun houses. They're really long. That's a type of house. They're really long. Sounds like they're having a really rough time. We got an early snowfall in November and Christmas was skimpy, but we made it through to the new year. Christmas was skimpy that night. They didn't have a lot for Christmas that year. For I realized February was upon us with Valentine's Day just two weeks away. One Sunday, Reverend Dennis made an announcement during services. Just as we always do, we'll be delivering love boxes to needy folk in our community. He said, Irene Temple and her little girl have lost everything in a fire. We must add them to our list. Next week, bring whatever you think might be useful to them. Remember, what is given from the heart reaches the heart. I want you to think about that. I'm going to read it one more time. What is given from the heart reaches the heart. James Otis, we need to help out, Mama said on the cold walk home. I came back with... How are we gonna do that, Mama? We ain't got nothing ourselves. Mama kept right on talking. Sister Bunch told me the daughter's name is Sarah, two years younger than you. You can find a little bit of something for her, don't you think? I wasn't convinced. What do I have that a little girl would want? Now, now, Mama said. Remember what Reverend Dennis said? What is given from the heart reaches the heart. I want you to keep thinking about what you think that means. That night, I lay warm and toasty under one of Mama's quilts. Still, it made me tremble to think about fire taking away what little we did have. What can I give Sarah to make up for all she's lost? I wondered. I considered the blue ribbon I'd won in the school spelling bee. Nah, the award was important to me, but it wouldn't mean a thing to her. I looked over at my beautiful sparkling rock, the one I'd found down by the creek. But how would that help Sarah? You can't eat a rock. Unable to come up with anything good, I pulled the covers over my head and drifted off to sleep.
Good morning. I found Mom in the kitchen, kitchen busy sewing. I know if we had a fire, I would miss my aprons, Mom explained. So I decided to make Mrs. Temple one. But Mama, you're using your white tablecloth, the only nice thing that you have. James Otis, I'm stitching with a loving heart. My hope is that this apron will give as much joy to Mrs. Temple as the tablecloth has given me. Mama's smile was a welcome sight. That made me study harder on what I could contribute. Maybe Sarah would like something to play with, like my whistle from Dexter Benson's birthday party. But my spit was all over it. What about my crayons? I drew so many pictures with them, even though the black, pink, and dark blue were missing. No way. I couldn't give her used crayons. And I couldn't give her my pencil. That was just a nub and not much eraser left either. As time flew towards Valentine's Day, I fretted more and more. I considered giving Sarah a puzzle. It didn't bother me that two pieces were missing, but it might bother her. Uh-uh, that wouldn't do. Not even with a bow on it. And neither would my capeless Superman Halloween costume. You can see his little pencil right there. A lot of you guys like to use those in the classroom and they drive me nuts. You can see Hans. Hans. <laughs> Hans says hi. <laughs> then I remembered my book, Things That Roll. Mama had paid 10 cents at it for the resale shop. I read it every night until I'd memorize each word and then I drew pictures of all the stuff that rolled. Sarah might enjoy my book, I thought but maybe she didn't like trucks and marbles and such. Still, it got me to thinking. I gathered my crayons, my pencil, and some paper and got busy. Wonder what he's gonna do. On the Sunday before Valentine's Day, we were off to church. Along the way, Mama told me, as usual, the trustees will deliver the love boxes to the homes of the needy, but Reverend Dennis has invited the temples to receive theirs at Olive Chapel so they can meet the congregation. I love that they call them love boxes. They fill them with love. The church was full. Mama beamed as she carefully placed the apron in the box. When we presented the temples with their love box, filled with all kinds of clothing, food, tools, and toys, Mrs. Temple was overcome with emotion. The congregation shouted, Amen. Even so, Sarah seemed sad and afraid. She clung to her mama's arm and hid her face. I walked over to where they were standing. Hi, Sarah, I said, sounding cheery-like. My name is James Otis, and I'm pleased to meet you. Same to you, she answered, looking at her feet. Here, I said, handing her my gift. I wrote it, drew the pictures, and put it together by myself just for you. They wrote her a book and drew the illustration. Sarah managed a smile as she stared at the book I made. Then, real slow like, she read the cover. From My Heart to Your Heart by James Otis Petway. It's about a little girl named Sarah and don't tell me, she said. I want to read it about myself by myself. I can't believe it. She squealed, a book about me. Then she covered her mouth to catch a giggle. Seeing little Sarah happy made me happy too. I laughed out loud. I just put some hard words in it so you can look them up. You sound like my teacher. Sarah pressed the book into her heart, closed her eyes and whispered, 
Thank you, James Otis. I will keep this book forever and ever. Walking home, Mama held my hand. The temples looked very grateful, she said. I think we reached their hearts, I said. Mama nodded. I am proud of you, Otis James. How come? I asked. Because you're, cause you're you. In winter, night comes early. The sky was darkening and it had started to snow. I stuck my tongue out to catch a snowflake as Mama spun joyfully round and round. I love how you can tell how happy they are because they made somebody else happy. Suddenly, Mom stopped. Look, there's something on our porch, she said. I rushed ahead, and there it was. A love box had been delivered to us. Because remember, their family's going through a tough time, too. His daddy had died, and then they lost their farm, and they had to move, and they didn't have a lot. And our hearts rejoiced. Our hearts rejoiced. Looks like people had given them banana walnut bread mix, a candle, stuffed animal, a lollipop. like the back of this book too. It says, seeing little Sarah happy made me happy too. Okay. I want you guys to think about a time that you've given something to somebody, even if it wasn't something like a really expensive present. Uh, maybe you just gave your friend a drawing and you saw how happy that made them. I know every single time that you guys give me something handmade, I keep it. I have a big folder filled with all of your stuff in it that I'm gonna keep forever and ever. And those things make me make me the happiest. Okay, so what's given from the heart will reach the heart. I want you to think about what that means in your head, and maybe talk with your family about it this weekend. Okay, I hope you guys have a wonderful long weekend and a good holiday, and I'll see you back on Monday.